So basically, you are saying that the Jia family is the main factor here. Jia family yes. represent Bangladesh. Jia family represent Muslims. Jia family represent the patriotic system in Bangladesh. They are and main that goal. is the main headache for India. That's India, a, that's India's what main goal, Hasina's main goal is to crush this family. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to PBC 24 talk show. Today we are going to discuss about our three times Prime Minister, Deshnati Begum Khaleda Jia, chairperson of Bangladesh Nationalist Party. And she was elected from rural areas, not only one seat. She was always elected on five seats in the parliamentary election. She was three times Prime Minister of Bangladesh. She was the first woman Prime Minister of Bangladesh. She was the second woman Prime Minister of Muslim world. She is seriously ill. She is in the hospital. She is getting treatment. Is it just treatment by name? She needs higher treatment. She needs to go to abroad. Why the government is not sending her out? Why? Because the Prime Minister recently revealed that why she is not sending our former Prime Minister Begum Khaleda Jia to the abroad for her treatment. Khaleda Jia ke je kare agar theke basha thakte jisse chikisha korte si etai ki beshi na. It was very mean conversation. She knows that Bangladesh cannot give her real treatment because when she is ill, our current Prime Minister, with something like ear infection or something, she goes to abroad. Whereas our former Prime Minister Begum Khaleda Jia is seriously ill, she is in the ICU and she is not getting chance to get out of the country to get her better treatment. This is unfair. This is unacceptable. Overall, this is inhuman behavior. Please, we need to talk about it. We need to know about Deshnati Begum Khaleda Jia. Who is she? What is her dedication? And what she was trying to do for the country? Begum Khaleda Zia. Bangladesh became independent in 1971, but it was ruled by a single party dictatorship since then. President Zia Rahman initiated a true democracy and multi-party politics in 1977 for the first time in its history. However, it went back to being ruled by dictatorship again after he was killed by some army officers in 1981. Begum Khalida Zia, a widow with two adolescent sons at the time, has devoted her life for the struggle for democracy and human rights. In return, people chose her as the first ever democratically elected Prime Minister in 1991, when she successfully established parliamentary democracy in the country. She is considered to be the mother of democracy of Bangladesh. Her steadfastness and struggle against autocracy made her the Nelson Mandela of Bangladesh. Her counterpart, Sheikh Hasina, was never able to accept Khalid Zia's popularity. Instead of participatory and competitive political activities, Sheikh Hasina always prefers backstabbing, corruption and political division. Her ultimate goal is to destroy Khalid Zia to ensure the power for her family members in the future. Khalid Zia is at present in despot's detention. She was convicted in a politically biased and proved to be baseless corruption charge. Although steadfast and firm in morality, she is at her very old age now. As you know, she was declared the mother of democracy in Bangladesh from USA. The New Jersey State Senate in 2011 passed a resolution telling her that she was the founder of Bangladesh real democracy. So she is in, in the ICU. She needs real treatment. We invited one of our guests from New York. He is the editor of New York Runner newspaper. He is a freedom fighter and he is actually a political analyst. Mr. John Alabidin, you are welcome to PBC show. Assalamu alaikum. I am very happy to face you today and uh, getting a chance to talk regarding a very serious, very humanitarian problem that Bangladesh former Prime Minister Begum Khalidia, the founder of democracy, the mother of democracy. As you know, Mr. Jarnal Avidin, she is seriously ill. She needs to be treated. And she is getting her treat treatment, but she is basically arrested. She is basically in jail. And she is not getting 
proper treatment as a Bangladeshi human being who is free or can get anything she wants. Can you explain, Mr. Janal Abidin, her situation regarding this uh, sickness, how she was tortured mentally and physically, and there is a speculation that she was poisoned when she was in jail. Can you explain us, please? My thanks to you, Mr. Rituhai, for inviting me to speak on such a crucial and very, on such a person named Begum Khaladjiya, the three times Prime Minister of Bangladesh. <coughs> she is now at the point of death. And she is totally ill or sick, totally ill, I should say. And this happened due to her imprisonment by the current Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. She became ill when she was in jail. This honest, popular and humanist, humanist Prime Minister, Begum Khaladjiya, who has no personal enemy anywhere in the world, was unfortunately jailed using a very controversial lawsuit against her, which is really a very sad story for Bangladesh and beyond. Because same, same politically motivated allegation was brought by the ex kate government under Moenu Ahmed, the army chief of the time. Identical or same type of lawsuit was also filed by the military government against Sheikh Hasina. Sheikh Hasina coming to power, withdraw all the mem all the uh, lawsuit or cases against which were filed against her and her party workers and leaders. Over 8,500, over 8,500 uh, case, cases were filed so far filed against Hasina and her party members and leaders and activists and she would do all of them. She would do all of them. But she continued those same type of allegations or cases which are filed and BNP activists, leaders and workers. In this case, for which he was she was jailed for about seven years. This allegation was that she misappropriated money of Zia Orphanage or Foundation. It was not proved in real sense. And this imprisonment, people believe that during the imprisonment when she was in jail, she was poisoned, slow poisoned, led her to the brink of death. I am not a doctor, I am not a physician, and I was not in jail during the time, but it is widely believed for one reason, despite popular demand in Bangladesh, Begum Jia should be allowed to go to abroad for better treatment. As because our people believe the treatment in, in Bangladesh is not so good as like as that of Britain or uh, Singapore or any other country of the world. They have they have the, they have argument here. They they, they claim that Sheikh Hasina went to have got for the treatment of her ears. She claimed that she feels pain. So she demanded to, to go to Abdad when she was under house arrest during the time of Moinu Ahmed. And she went to UK and got her treatment. Now they say when demand is there, popular demand raises every day, there was demonstration, there was after a television interview, this or that TV show, people around the world, Bangladeshi people, specially demand that um, the Sheikh Begum Khadajiya should be sent to abroad. But Sheikh Hasina government doesn't allow her to go to abroad, showing that she is uh, under jail. She was she is in jail, and uh, it is law. There's the law to release her in that way. But Jonal Shaib. Uh, as we know that her imprisonment based on the recent justification and that justification came from the court. The court is under Sheikh Hasina's rule. Whatever the judgment came for Begum Khaled Ajiya, that was baseless because only two crore Bangladesh money, which is still in the bank, but she was found guilty on that purpose. And it was politically motivated. Then that was 
hundred percent of the Bangladeshis believes Khalida Jia didn't do anything wrong. The money is there, but the case was politically motivated and found her guilty on purpose. Is it right? It is a, 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 a an excuse, very excuse. This allegation in the real sense, real truth is it my Begum Jia is hundred percent uh, honest and she is not a just a five minister it, like her cannot just misappropriate two thousand two only two kostaka. It is but the money is still in the bank. Money is still in the bank. Money is the bank. This some this way that way it was not um, the way to the proper way. But, but the bank money is, is in her bag. She she doesn't use the money. Still she was in prison. She is convicted. In no, no convicted. And it is totally not it is a, she is a victim of so many conspiracies. So many players are be, uh, behind this uh, game. India's interest India is the main partner here. Indian number one, India brought Sheikh Hasina into power to create problems against BNP, BNP leaders. And because BNP and BNP leaders are the real patriot and so long they are there, the Bank India will not be able to merge Bangladesh with India. They will not sacrifice the interest of Bangladesh. That is the main, main that is the main crime according to India. That is the main point of this, all the games killing, uh, sorry, in, uh, convicting Begum Jia and convicting Tariq Rahman. Even some people say and believe, some people believe saying that even behind the death of uh, Arafat Rahman Koko, the youngest son of um, Begum Jia, behind yeah. all these things, India play, played a vital role, sanguinary role, I should say, sanguinary role, dangerous role India played there. As because this family totally a pro Bangladeshi, pro Muslim family. They will not do anything against them, against Muslims or against Bangladesh. So what is a headache for Indian game? That is the main reason, that for that reason Tariq Rahman or Begum Jia or other members of uh, her family, his family, now facing various types of problems. So basically you are saying that the Jia family is the main factor here. Jia family yes. represent Bangladesh, Jia family represent Muslims, Jia family represent the patriotic system in Bangladesh. They are and main that goal. is the main headache for India. That's India's, a, that's India's main goal, Hasina's main goal is to crush this family, make this party be and be leaderless. If Begum Jia had no party, even Tarek Rahman had no party like name BNP, nothing would happen. Nobody asks oh, why the madam made billions of dollars stealing money, misappropriating money, looting money, but during Hasina's time ha happened in Bangladesh. Looting even Central Bank, what is known as Bangladesh Bank. It is most secured. Its money was also stolen by the people. Ki by Jalashab, uh, let us let us discuss about uh, Begum Jia's performance wh while she was in the Prime Minister. We should go there. I should, I should go there. I am comparing this uh, situation so people will understand easy. The, how, what type of plunder? How billion, many billions of dollars were transferred to out of Bangladesh to European countries, <coughs> to Malaysia, to Canada, to America, or above all to India. Yes, Jalashab, as a, as a senior journalist and very close to the uh, government system, you've always been covering the uh, political situation and you are a political analyst. So could you please explain, during uh, Prime Minister of Begum Khaled Ajiya, which is 1991 to 1996, 2001 to 2006, the development situation of Bangladesh, the policy making of Bangladesh, the, the development of the women society, like the women education, women freedom, women uh, job, job creation, all this sector, how the Shnatri Begum Khaladajia produced the new policies for the country, for the people. Could you please explain that? 
yes, you see, it is a huge question and it's very difficult to, um, there's so much time to discuss all these things here. You would not see any sector in Bangladesh who shall not develop by Khabagamujiya. Every sector of Bangladesh. It is education, it is women education, or even uh, education for medical education, or engineering education, everywhere, everywhere, even uh, just uh, teachers benefit, giving incentive to the workers, giving the incentive to the doctors, or this or that, every sector of had one or this or that type of help. No, even, sir, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the increment or payment of the society. I'm talking about the new policy creation, which is like free education for the women. Yeah, it is up to up to bachelor degree. They used to get up to bachelor degree. The, uh, our female uh, students used to get free of cost. They got this degree. Even uh, she um, set up so many industrial uh, uh, in installation in Bangladesh, medical colleges, engineering colleges, even universities, even for uh, for textile industries, every sector of Bangladesh, road and communications. I mean, during her time, she started the Una Bridge, which was first a, such a long bridge in Bangladesh. So even she, he, she had a vision to create, uh, construct another bridge over the Padma, what Hasina is do, doing now. It is her uh, project. Only the venue, the place was of uh, this was just shifted from uh, by one place to other area, from Mani to Amawa. This was the difference. It was office team, and it was the, now it is constructed in the downstream. So everything, this it was the it was the basically this was the brain of Bangladesh to connect Bangladesh uh, over the bridge, by bridge, creating, by constructing bridge uh, on, uh, over the mighty rivers. It was Begum here. And she also started industrial uh, revolution in Bangladesh, giving people more money, uh, marginal people, gastrointestinal people, more money, more uh, equipment for uh, development of agricultural uh, products. Forty farm. Everything is, this is her initiative, her incentive. She did it. Okay, brother Abidin, uh, Deshnati Begum Khaledajia was appreciated for her performance in Bangladesh, establishing proper democracy, establishing women's free education, establishing new policies for the patriotic people who come abroad to work. Deshnati Begum Khaledajia was honored, and US government recognized her as a mother of democracy in Bangladesh. New, uh, New Jersey State Senate passed a resolution saying she is the founder of women rights in Bangladesh, women's free education in Bangladesh and establishing real democracy in Bangladesh. So she was honored by the whole world. Why she doesn't get honored by this government, by this prime minister? This is very, very honorable recognition for Beckham Jia as because she was uh, they recognized her as the mother of democracy. Before that, I appreciated those people, those who initiated this very appropriate recognition for Begum Jia. I learned that you are, Mr. Ditu, you are also involved. You are the, also one of from a major person who played the, the, the who played a vital role in getting this type of recognition for Begum Jia. As this recognition is really appreciable and it is justified. I appreciate, I, I, I convey my thanks to those people, to those to that gov govern, gov governor or the New, New York State and other people who recognize Begum Jia as the mother of democracy. And because Begum Jia was the only person in Bangladesh who after, after Shaijiya Raman, it was started basically by Jia Rahman, but as he was killed by Indian design, due to Indian design, he has, he lost his life. And Begum Jia when came to power, she followed her husband's policy and she strengthened the process of democracy and gave, gave it a solid foundation. So democratic process continues in Bangladesh. 
people can express their views free of fear, fear arrest or harassment and she ensued human rights. There is no such an anarchic situation in Bangladesh when Begum Jia was acted as the Prime Minister of Bangladesh. And she was, a, she was given the title of Mother of Democracy. It was so accurate that she is the only woman, uh, politician who is equally popular in any corner of Bangladesh. Begum Jia repeatedly contested for, from five constitutions, constituencies. From five constituencies, she contested for parliamentary election. It is wonderful that in every constituencies, every five con constituencies, she got huge majority vote and she was elected. She didn't lose any, 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 any seat. She yes, so far we know she never lost her election in her lifetime. Never, no, ever. No, she was no. always the winner yeah, on and the she other got hand, the highest vote in Bangladesh history. Yes, on the other hand, Sheikh Hasina also followed her and she also contested in 5 seats. But she won <laughs> miraculously, only one seat. and she didn't, she was not, she was not just uh, own all the seats from where she contested. Right. So it's true. Begum Jia is the only politician in Bangladesh who is popular from any part of Bangladesh, any or in all parts of Bangladesh. She is popular. Still today, still today, this is a threat for Sheikh Hasina. Sheikh, sorry, yes, Sheikh Hasina. As because she knows if Begum Jia is set free, the entire situation will be changed. If Tariq Rahman is allowed to come to Bangladesh freely, the situation will be changed overnight. And that means downfall of Sheikh Hasira. Now yes, Bangladeshi uh, people Mitchell. wants to get Tarek Rahman to come to power. They want that Begum Jia should be sent to abroad for better treatment. But it is not done due to two to, to, um, um, to factors, two powers, one Sheikh Hasina, other is India. Deshnati Begum Khalid Jia is not a name, it is an institution. She is the mother of Bangladeshi democracy. I am not saying that the US government, New Jersey State Senate passed a resolution on her name that she is the founder of real democracy in Bangladesh. She is the founder of free education, free women education in Bangladesh. She is the founder of women rights in Bangladesh. So all the women should respect Deshnati Begum Khaledajia. They should come forward for her better treatment. I personally urge the whole world to see the situation in Bangladesh. And I believe the speculation spreading all over the world that she was poisoned while she was in prison, it doesn't come true for the Hasina's government. So to prove this government did not poison, they should let Deshnati Begum Khaledajia to go out, outside the country in abroad to get her treatment, get her test done. So the government can be clear of all the accusation, all the allegations. All pray for her and we all will pray for her until she comes back to us. She is our, she is our mother of democracy. She is our hope. She is the sign of our sovereignty of Bangladesh. Jia family represent the sovereignty of Bangladesh. Hope to see you guys again in another episode. Be good. Thank you very much.